Hey man, are you preparing to send your recording session off to be mixed? Or maybe you're just sending the session off to collaborate with somebody else. Maybe they working in a different dog. They not using Pro Tools. Maybe they using FL Studio. No, no, ain't nothing wrong with FL Studio, but maybe they using Logic. Maybe they using Studio One. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna show you how to export your Pro Tools session so that it can be compatible with any DAW. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com and today we're going to explore how to send stems or trackouts and what's the difference between a stem and a trackout? Matter of fact, let's just break that down, man, because ultimately the point, the goal here of this lesson is for us to be able to uh, create a self-contained session or, or audio files that we can export from our um, Pro Tools right now that can be used in any other DAW, right? The difference between stems and trackouts. A lot of people get these twisted up. Shout out to the stem player. Let me. This uh, this might be. Shout out to the Kanye West stem player real quick. Okay. Now this is probably the best example um, to to break down what a stem is because a lot of y'all be calling trackouts stems, right? Basically, a stem is when you have multiple elements of the song grouped into one but then you still have all of them but here's my example i have a stem for the drums i have a, a stem or in other words a stereo track for the vocals i have a stereo track for the bass i have a stereo track for the melodic instruments right and so that's kind of what kanye west is doing with the stem player to where he got one of these faders here for the vocals. He got another fader for the bass. He got another fader for drums and another fader for melodic instruments and allow you to mix based off of those stems, okay? So that's what stems is. And so a lot of times when we are talking about receiving a session to mix or send a session to mix, we don't wanna necessarily send stems. We want to send the full trackouts. Now, what is the full trackouts? The full trackouts, imagine Kanye had a trackout player. <laughs> okay, he probably have, it'll be a hundred little faders on here because with a trackout player, you need to have a track for every individual sound that's in the session so a track for the kick a track for the snare a track for the piano a track for the lead vocal a track for the background vocal right and we're not just working with grouped stems okay so let's make sure we understand that i see and hear so many people interchanging those words stems and track outs a stem is a a, a stereo file with multiple uh, sources in, uh, printed down into one. So like the drums stem, the vocals stem, the music stem, okay? Track outs means I have every individual track, every sound has its own track and I have a track for each one of those in my session, all right? Let's go over the Pro Tools. I'm gonna show y'all real quick how you can track out your session to send to someone else that may be using another DAW. Let's jump into Pro Tools. All right, so I'm in my session. Basically, if you're not using Pro Tools, if you was using Pro Tools, I could just send you this. But if I'm not sure what DAW you're using, I don't want to just send you a Pro Tools session. You're not going to be able to use it, right? Because all of these different audio clips and all these different audio files, they're not going to come out right. A lot of times somebody would just send the audio files folder. And what that means is that this little bitty audio file, once I import it, it will be at the beginning of the session, right? Everything is gonna snap to the beginning of my session if I just send the session's audio files folder. So that's not what I wanna do. This is how you uh, set up the perfect track outs. It's gonna be super simple, right? So here we go. I'm just gonna first start off by selecting, making a selection for the length of my entire song, right? And in this case, since I'm using a two track beat, it starts here and start there. Ain't nothing else, ain't no other relevant clips outside of here or before there. So now I'm just going to extend that selection, right? And I wouldn't do it like this. I would do this by holding uh, the shift key and using semicolon, all right? This is just how you bring your selection down. You can use P to bring the selection up if you want to, but I'm holding the shift key and I'm using semicolon to extend my selection down to every track. You could have also just came up to the uh, ruler up here, the ruler area, clicking right on that bar, and this will allow you to make a selection throughout your whole session. Now that I have a selection that flows from the beginning to the end of my session on every single audio track in my session, now what I want to do is consolidate, okay? So to consolidate, I would go up to the file, 
I'm sorry, go up to the edit menu and go to consolidate. The shortcut is option command, I'm sorry, option shift three. You hit consolidate and look, this is what happens. If you see now, every file in my session is the exact same length. No matter where the audio starts playing, every file in this session is the exact same length. So if I take this over to Logic, all I gotta do is import the audio into Logic, start line these clips up all from the beginning, and I got the session back and everything is still locked up perfectly in time, right? I don't wanna have to be trying to guess, and I've seen engineers literally try to uh, recreate the song with everything butted up to the beginning, and they trying to recreate it, right? That's damn near impossible, and I would never even attempt to do that. If you send me something like that, I'm gonna have to call you up like, yo, bro, I can't work like this. You're gonna need to go and watch this video. I'm gonna send you this link so that you can properly export the files so you can send it to me. So now, we got another step to do. Now that I have my entire session selected, I just wanna make sure um, that now that I have it all consolidated, I'm gonna select all of these clips, and I'm gonna go to export them, right? So the shortcut is Shift-Command-K. Okay, if you don't, if you're not that big on shortcuts, you go over to the clips list drop down menu. Once you have all of those uh, zero point files, those zero point clips, and we call them zero point because they all start at the zero point, right? And, and continue throughout the end of the song. So I go to those, select those, and then what I want to do is hit export clips as files, and then I'll choose a um. A uh, 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 file type, format, bit depth, sample rate. I can keep all that. Choose a folder for where I want to save it. So let's just say I'm on the desktop. We're going to call this Wavy Song. Make a new folder. I'm going to open that. Let's export these. It's going to take a minute. So we're processing and copying all of these audio files. Now, also keep in mind that any insert processing that you have, any real-time processing that's happening in the session is not going to be included when you do this track out, right? These are simply going to uh, uh, take the audio out of here, okay? So now, let me open up my finder, uh, go to my desktop. Here goes my wavy song, right? And if you notice, here goes all of those files. <laughs> Ideally, hopefully you would name them. First, right? Don't be like me. Please don't be like me. And then every damn file is named audio, audio, audio. You want to go in and name those tracks before you consolidate them. But this is how you know if you did it right or not. If you look over at the size of the file, every single one of the files should be the same with the exception of any stereo files, right? So if you notice, I got um, one stereo file, which was the beat. It's twice as large as my mono files. So all the mono files are exactly the same file size. That's because they are exactly the same file length. I can tell you right away just by looking at the size of the files that you send me if they're going to line up right. All right. Cool. And then what I would do, one more thing, I would go back to my Pro Tools session and hit Command Z to unconsolidate that after I get it so that I can retain the ability to edit this session. Now I can retain the ability to 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 have all my individual clips and stuff like I wanted to. Or you could have did a save as, but I'll just come back and hit an undo before I save or before I close this session. All right. Listen, man, the big problem with learning only on YouTube videos is that you don't know what you don't know. If I don't make a video for it, you might not even know that you don't know this topic. All right. You need a guide. You need a mentor. You need constant instruction and a community around you that is willing and ready to help you get better as an audio engineer. We call that the Wavy Seals Elite. Text me right now. Text Elite to 314 400-2880 if you want to take your skills to the next level, if you want to stop guessing in Pro Tools, if you want to know what you don't even know that you don't know so that you can be the best engineer that you've ever been, all right? I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. I'll talk to y'all later. Be dope.